Welcome once again to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video we're going to look at the urinary system and the reproductive system of a fetal pig. This is a female fetal pig. You know that it's a female fetal pig from the outside without even doing any dissection yet by looking near the anus under the tail for the genital papilla, which looks like this. That's genital papilla. Now if we look inside, this is actually the umbilicus. It was dissected and ref dissected away. It was up here and then reflected back. This structure is actually the urinary bladder. In the fetal pig, it's rather long. In the adult pig, as it's being used, instead of becoming long, it becomes, of course, rounded. On either side of the urinary bladder are the right and left umbilical arteries. The kidneys are here. This is the left kidney. This is the right kidney. This is the right ureter, this little tube coming down. And this is the left ureter. The green thing in the center, by the way, is part of the large intestine. I've dissected out all the other um, digestive organs. Um, I've also taken away, of course, the peritoneum. This peritoneal membrane that I'm holding right now with the forceps covered the kidneys. In fact, I can put it back over like that. That just shows, once again, that the kidneys are retroperitoneal. They're underneath the parietal peritoneum in the back of the abdominal cavity. For reproductive organs, this is the right ovary. This, then, if I can get it up, that's the left ovary. This would be the left fallopian tube, and this would be the right fallopian tube. And then in the center, we would call this the uterus. Fallopian tubes, by the way, in the pig are actually very short. They have a long uterus. They have a long Y-shaped uterus because they have multiple offspring. So what I'm calling fallopian tube here is in reality for the pig, it's part of the uterus. And that's it for the reproductive system and the renal system on the female pig. For this video I'd like to show you a male fetal pig for renal system and for reproductive system. Um, first of all, the way we know this is a male fetal pig without even opening up the pig yet is this little orifice right here below the umbilicus. This is the umbilicus tied off with some string. And right below it we have this little opening. That is actually the male urethra. And the penis will be down underneath that tissue as well. Another way that you can tell is back here under the tail, you see anus but you do not see a genital papilla like we see on the female. And this tissue here is rather loose because that's going to be the scrotum for the adult male pig. I'm going to take a break and dissect out the digestive organs and open up the fetal pig. Already dissected open, obviously, the fetal pig, and I've removed all of the digestive organs except for this piece of the um, large intestine coming down, which down at this point you might be able to call rectum. First of all, for urinary system, this organ over here is the left kidney, this organ over here is the right kidney, and I will start removing some of the peritoneum. Um, the kidneys are retroperitoneal. They're behind the peritoneum. So in order to get to them, you have to remove this tissue. this membrane of the peritoneum. So bits at a time I'm going to remove the peritoneum.
underneath the peritoneum and almost it looks like embedded in the peritoneum a bit because I'm having trouble getting it out you can see this little tube coming down from the kidney this little tube is a ureter so this is the left kidney this is the left ureter this is the right kidney and you can see through the peritoneum the right ureter I want to point it out before I try to do the dissection further because this piggy's ureters look like they're embedded in the peritoneum. Well, we expose the first, the left kidney first, and this is the right kidney fully exposed. So that's the fetal pig kidney. I'm going to continue removing peritoneal membrane. That's what I was afraid of. Um, still trying to remove peritoneum, but I broke the right ureter. That's the ureter there, and there's the other piece of it. It's just so attached to that peritoneum, it's hard to remove the two. Anyway, you got those. Left kidney, right kidney, left ureter, right ureter. The urinary bladder is down here. This piece that's hanging here is the umbilicus and here if I put my forceps into this hole that is the piggy's ureter I'm sorry urethra that's the urethral orifice right there so this male uh, piggy's penis is underneath this tissue in here this is the penis here can see. If I reflect this whole thing down, it'll have the appearance that you saw first. The red vessels here are umbilical arteries. This is the left umbilical artery and this is the right umbilical artery. And between them is the urinary bladder. So this long organ here is the urinary bladder. And you can actually see really well on this fetal pig the right ureter coming into the urinary bladder and the left ureter coming into the urinary bladder. And I'm seeing something here which I haven't really seen before. This tissue that I'm grabbing a hold of looks almost like female organs. These must be um, the vas deferens going down towards the pig's testicles. So let's see if we can't follow that. <coughs> Usually, in order to see the fetal pig's testicles, I start out here with the scrotum and kind of dig down to get them. But since I see what I think are the vas deferens, we'll go in this direction and see if we can follow all the way down. And it looks like this is going to work. If you can see this little tiny tube in here, what I'm opening up is the canal that it travels down. There's a blood vessel coming with it to service the testicle. And the tube again that I'm talking about is this little one right here. That I believe is a vas deferens going down towards the testicle. And down here, I'll have to do a little more dissection to get it out. Use the blunt end. Use the shit that could damage something that we didn't want to. We're starting to see the testicle emerge here. This is the testicle. And I'm thinking this is kind of neat. So, vas deferens starting up here. And notice that from, from lecture, you remember the vas deferens comes up over the pelvic bone and then in behind the bladder, and that's exactly what this one is doing. Um, after this, I'm going to have to look behind there and see if they have seminal vesicles. And what I have here now is the pig's testicle inside of its sac. 
and I'm going to start trying to remove the connective tissue from around it. Again, trying to fo follow the su the seminal vas or the um, vas deferens. tough tissue down here. There we are. I've opened up the sac now. And what we have here is an exposed left fetal pig testicle. This is the testicle itself and this part up here is the epididymis. So we've got testicle, epididymis, vas deferens, going all the way up here over the top of the bladder. So to recap the anatomy for the urinary system, this is the left kidney, this is the right kidney, this is the left ureter, this is the right ureter. This is the urinary bladder. For reproductive organs, if I reflect back this large structure from the umbilicus, and actually this part here, the, the opening to the urethra or the urethral orifice, that's part of urinary and reproductive. The penis is under what is the skin here, and it's here on the fetal pig. So this is penis, and then down here behind the bladder, we have the vas deferens, or ductus deferens, and I can follow that down in this dissection all the way down to the epididymis and the testicle. And that's male, re male reproductive system in the fetal pig. Thank you once again for watching.